Hello everyone and welcome to your second Royal Reading of today, the 4th of June, here at Mad World Tarot. And of course the 4th of June means it's Lilibet's birthday, allegedly. And I've done a quick read on the alleged birthday party in Montecito over the weekend. Showed up some interesting um, energy. I'm now going to do a deeper dive into the mystery of the missing Invisi kids as they are often referred to because we never see them. We know absolutely nothing about them. We don't see them. What we see we suspect might not even be them. And uh, so time to have a look. I'm keeping the cute ghost tarot on the tarot table. And uh, I'm going to look and see uh, where they might be and why we don't see them. Very simple. But the background to this is uh, the endless speculation. Uh, Bookworm has uh, done a retrospective. Uh, she's busy with it on her channel. She's been looking, collecting all the rumors, all the speculation, all the stories about the things that go bump, uh, possible surrogates, um, all of that kind of stuff, she's gone through it, all her own attempts to get to the bottom of some of these mysteries, these rumours, all this speculation. Uh, it's worth a listen. There's some interesting information in there. And um, I won't go into it now in detail. Uh, of course, Paula M has had allegedly a maid who's worked for Harry and Meghan uh, talking about life uh, with them. Uh, absence of children, absence of car seats, absence of any sign of children. So that has uh, fueled the fires as well. And so we're in that territory. We we have speculation that uh, Lilibet uh, lives with her birth mum, that there was dispute over handing her over to Harry and Meghan. We have the same kinds of rumours with Archie as well. Maybe he wasn't handed over to Harry and Meghan. Maybe he stays with his birth mum. Uh, possibly some speculation that it might be even in Windsor. Uh, so there are all these wild tales. We're going to use the cute goat, ghost tarot. Let me see goat, ghost tarot. And we're just going to have a look. Uh, a look, one of many looks that we've had. We look at energy here and let's remind you straight off the bat. It's tarot for fun and entertainment. It's all speculation. I just express my opinion here. I just read energy here. There's the seven of blades in reverse. That's the exposure card. Interesting. And um, of course there is a disclaimer in the box below. I'm going to look today at Harry and Meghan generally as parents. Give me energy around that. I'm going to ask individually about Archie and Lilibet, where they are, why we don't see them. I'm going to ask about Harry and Meghan's attitude to the truth. And then whether the truth will ever emerge. Now, when I say attitude to the truth, there was a rumour late last year that Harry had made a deal with the royal family that he was going to come clean. Uh, around the birth at least of Archie. I read on it at the time. It did look like he had some kind of a deal to do that and then of course um, chickened out or was forced um, by Meghan not to do it. That is a rumour. Um, the parenting we're going to look at as well as I said and um, it's interesting that uh, in, the, in terms of truth telling the airwaves are being bombarded today with stories about the birthday party the alleged birthday party how megan missing her kids and she's so sad that they're growing up so quickly and off to school and uh, the myth carriage has also been referred to in articles today uh, because it's anniversary of that i think too and all of this information goes out and uh clogs up uh clogs up the news it clogs up search engines it blocks the other news the where where are the invisi kids kind of news uh, from dominating it gets fed into um the the large language model um ai um machines for lack of a better word uh that spit them back at us uh later on 
So there, there's a reason why we're hearing so much today about birthday party and about uh, missing kids and so sad they're growing up and she's such a good mother and blah, blah, blah. It's to drown out the chatter, the chatter from the likes of me and you and the commentators on the New York Post and wherever else who are having a good day today speculating about what might be going on. So enough chatter, enough shuffling, one more shuffle and then we're going to walk our way through this reading and see if the cute ghost tarot can give us any clues about what might be, there's the devil, what might be going on. So Harry and Megan as parents, where's Archie? Why don't we see him? Where's Lilibet? Why don't we see her? As a true to truth telling, will the truth ever come out? Or, of course, as I say, energy. But I am reading. And because why not? They are public figures. They are prince and princess. And um, the other royal children are very highly visible. And we know a lot about them. So there you go. Uh, we have the Two of Cups in reverse. Uh, breakup, separation, splits full. First thing that comes to mind with the Two of Cups in reverse, but something else also. Uh, it tells me that the children might not be together. And I've always, me personally, and of course I've said this is my personal opinion, I've always suspected that this is the case, that the children are not together. Um, that's me. And so I'm getting that things might not be rosy on the marriage front. They might be going through some sort of separation. Uh, uh, consistent theme. And uh, the children might be living in separate homes, even separate countries. So there's that Two of Cups in reverse. Because it doesn't have to be a romantic couple, the Two of Cups. It's just people who are emotionally engaged with each other <clears throat> at some level. And I'm now losing my voice. Interestingly, situation we are dealing with. Ah, the Nine of Blades in reverse, the stress card, the sleepless nights, the tossing and turning, the worry, worry, worry. Um, not a healthy energy when you're dealing with two children, very young children. Uh, it's in reverse. Super duper stress and worry, I would say. Somebody who really wants to end the stress and the worry. The nightmare that they have got themselves into and get out of it. And uh, there are rumours that Harry is trying to figure a way out of the mess. He has got himself into, I don't know how much to uh, credence to give to that. We will look at it at some stage. But here we are. Uh, very difficult cards around this reading. First column, Harry and Meghan as parents. What does the universe want to tell us? And uh, interesting, we have the moon for Harry, the moon in reverse, same card that showed up in the previous reading. This is somebody who might be ready to tell the truth because the moon is about secrets, buried stuff, stuff that's um, confusing. You can't really tell what's going on in the moonlight, shadows, you're afraid. Oh, I don't know if I can do this. But maybe if you want to get out of this Nine of Blades energy, you have to tell the truth. You have to reveal what is really going on. This is a question of how is he as a parent? And we get the moon in reverse odd energy because it's a little bit cray cray. As I said in the previous reading, it's Mummy Diana as well. Uh, so I think a lot on his mind about Mummy Diana and what happened with Mummy Diana. Not that he really knows much uh, because he was pretty young when she tragically passed away. But there's all kinds of weirdness in there. Uh, things that go bump, fear, doubt, worry. Is this really my child? Are you really pregnant? You know, all those weird questions we heard him say. So much strangeness in that card. It's not telling me how he is as a parent, except maybe trying to emulate Mommy Diana, which is a good thing. She was a good mother, except she allowed him to get away with absolutely everything pity about that mm. Megan Oof, the seven of sticks I'm right you are wrong that's the energy that comes through for me it's the defense card the on, on high ground um, and that's where I get that I'm right you wrong from all these people pushing at her she feels she's under attack as a parent 
So people criticising her, uh, the few that maybe see her in action criticising her, started with her brother, her half-brother, Thomas Jr., who said she should never be left alone with children or animals. An interesting comment, uh, a scary one, really. Um, so she feels besieged, she feels under attack, she feels like she's got to defend herself, and guest speaker is certainly having a busy morning uh, over in the New York Post comments section. Um, but she does feel she's right because the seven of our sticks, you're defending something that you feel is, def uh, is, is worth defending, that you are able to defend it. But it, it's definitely someone who's feeling some heat from their life choices. Neither of these show parenting. Well, that one sort of, the moon, but in reverse. Deep breath. Uh, Archie, where is he? It's, uh, two of coins. Wow, okay. Uh, bouncing between two. Hmm. Juggling. That tells me some sort of custody and access arrangement going on there. Uh, very sad, but we have this two of cups in reverse here. And it could even be bouncing between countries with that. I'm not getting that wildly. Um, I do have um, on the side where you can't see them, two cards, one for the United States, one for the United Kingdom. We might look at that later. It depends if we get into the three hour mark on this reading. Uh, we'll see. But this has already given me an answer. He's not in one place all the time. He's moving between two places equally. So it tells me that this is kind of divided up time that's been organized, a schedule, some kind of agreement. Uh, why don't we see him ever? Knight of Sticks, it's a... Uh, Harry energy mostly that's coming through there. And I, um, I get this with Harry um, a lot. It's something that makes him angry. This is... I'm not letting my children be uh, shoved and uh, put in front of the public, put in front of photographers and stuff like we were, because it was so traumatizing, and I'm sure it was traumatizing. Uh, there's very seldom that I feel sorry for Harry, but it must have been traumatic, and especially that moment when Diana died, and the whole world basically all eyes on them. Very, very, very difficult. Uh, there's something he feels passionate about. The Knight of Wands sticks is passionate about things volatile triggered so he's triggered by this it's also a travel card moving around a lot um it could be that he's very often not literally around in montecito he could be in the uk so there's two things going on with this knight of sticks lily bit where is she ace of sticks Uh, tells me that there's some kind of almost conflict around it. I, I don't normally see the Ace of Sticks as, as a conflict card. Ace of Wands, it's passionate, it's um, excitement, it's enthusiasm, creativity. Normally, it's not person energy, but this ace of sticks in this particular um, tarot deck is interesting because you get two equal flames that are shooting off there and it's also it, it's very strange energy that's coming through it's also giving me that she's more of a a, um, a notion an idea than a reality uh, I, I, I will say that i will say that i'm not getting either parent here um, it could even be because the Ace of Sticks is very um, sexual, procreation. It could be that she could be with somebody involved, literally, in procreation. And that rules out possibly both Harry and Meghan, according to the rumours. Who knows? But uh, it's odd energy. That's pretty clear for me with Archie. This is weird. This is different. This is more conceptual and conception as well 
uh, for what it's worth, we, we, we're in the realms of absolute speculation here, uh, scratching around for straws to cling to. And uh, there is one that I'm clutching at, the Ace of Sticks. We might clarify it later. Uh, why don't we see her? Uh, very sad. Okay. Eight of Cups. A sad situation that has been left behind. Um, so here we've got someone we're looking after and we're making sure is okay and protecting and it's a volatile situation. Here we've got somebody who might, we might not be able to have much access to them. Something's gone wrong here, Eight of Cups. And someone's walking away and having to leave this mess behind. Could be the park holes. But they tried something, Ace of Sticks, this conception notion, and things went pear-shaped and didn't work out and had to leave the situation behind. And I know I did a reading on her recently, and uh, one based on astrology. And, you know, we could be dealing with a hypothetical child at this point. We don't know. There's still a hypothetical chart uh, for somebody. Uh, it doesn't have to be absolutely hypothetical. What a contradiction in terms. <laughs> um, but it tells me that there's something off about the or origins and something off about what happened around the eight months mark, eight of cups. And it, le it led to sorrow. It led to loss. It led to tragedy. It led to we have to let go. We have to move on. So they might literally have very little access to her. And that's certainly showed up in the birthday reading that I have just done that what access they might get might be kind of supervised access rare access where the two of them are pulled together and okay now you can see her and then you can't see her anymore I am speculating wildly I feel that I'm titled to speculate wildly because these are public figures these are royal children in the line of succession and I think that we the public have a right to know what is really going on there's a lot of shady stuff around uh, as far as I can tell, and I'm trying to get to the bottom of it energetically anyway. Truth-telling, attitude to truth-telling Harry, first of all. And we got the Knight of Sticks, uh, the King of Sticks, sorry. Um, I'm reading backwards. The Knight of the King of Sticks, King of uh, Wands in reverse. It will make him look bad. It will make him very unpopular scandalous even um that is a situation that really he f he, he blows hot and cold with this uh, ones blow hot and cold he can be all for it one moment and then back back away the next because it's in reverse and say oh no no i'm not going to do that remember we have this card as our issue that we're dealing with someone who's very stressed and wants to get out of it and maybe tell the truth but maybe doesn't have the courage to tell the truth cold feet king of sticks and also realizes that could be the killer blow to his popularity because i think the king of wands of all the kings is the one most interested in his popularity the hail fellow well met kind of a vibe and he was the most popular royal apart from the queen the late queen all gone if he tells the truth megan truth telling that is the temperance card balance interesting it's the first indication that i've ever got that it could be something that she would consider which makes one speculate why would she be so interested in truth telling there are the two cups which are in reverse, which are split, separated as our underlying energy. And here they are flowing into each other. It's a kind of a reuniting, reconciling, evening out energy. The balance cards, the temperance cards, moderation, it's harmony, it's healing, it's all those lovely things. It's the angel. It makes me suspicious. It's not often that the temperance card makes me suspicious as a reader, but I'm suspicious. And the reason I'm suspicious is because of that, the separation going on there. 
And if she wants to come across as angelic, well then, maybe it's time for a bit of truth-telling. And of course you can spin the truth and, oh wow, I was um, wanting to off myself, dare not say the actual word, and um, so I had to use things that go bump and um, nobody could understand and was forced to lie. And a lot of people don't really understand what surrogacy actually means um, genetically. Uh, bizarrely to me but uh, a lot of people don't realize that it's got nothing to do with the uh, the carrier mother's DNA so if she says oh I had to use a surrogate because they didn't want a uh, biracial baby some people are going to believe that unfortunately they are that ignorant so suspicion in here very make me very suspicious um, truth, outcome. Oh, looks like we might get some truth here. Wow, we've got the high priestess in reverse secrets re revealed. We've got two, uh, two chances here of secrets being revealed and someone being quite interested in telling them to look good and make him look bad. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, secrets card and the high priestess all about hormones all about uh, the mysteries of uh, conception which is a word that we have had over here and birth and it's in reverse so secrets coming out it looks as if at the right opportunity if the price is right she might be willing to tell all or at least some which uh, is pretty mind-blowing I have to say as a reader and of course, I am just a reader and it is just my opinion. And thank you for watching and I'll see you again tomorrow.